Hi guys, welcome back to Kali J's Kitchen. Today I'll show you how I made my curry chicken Jamaican style. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment and tell a friend to tell another friend to come over and subscribe to my channel. Please note guys that all of my recipes are in the description box. Go ahead and try them out. Let me know what you think. So guys, here are the ingredients that I'm going to use for my curry chicken. Here I have some chicken that I washed with vinegar and lime. I also have thyme, scotch bonnet, pepper, garlic, pimento seeds, onion. I'm also going to use carrot and Irish potato. I'm going to use better pack curry. A little all-purpose seasoning and some Maggi chicken seasoning so what I'm gonna do guys I'm just gonna go ahead and season my chicken first I'm just gonna go ahead and add some all-purpose seasoning Now I'm just going to go ahead and add some Maggi chicken season. Now guys, I'm just going to add the curry. And I'm also going to add the garlic. Guys, when I'm cooking curry, I like to add garlic. The garlic gives it a nice flavor. So now, guys, I've added all of the seasoning to my chicken. It's time to combine the seasoning with my chicken. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a fork. She just mix the season in. And you want your chicken to be well seasoned because it's curry. And you know, we have to ensure that our curry cook good and it has that nice color and that nice taste and the gravy is thick. So guys, I'm just showing you what it looks like when, once I rub my seasoning in. So guys, after seasoning my chicken, I allow it to sit for about half an hour. Now it's time to start cooking my curry chicken. So what I have now is, a, is my pot on the stove and I added a little bit of vegetable oil. So what I'm going to do now is just add the chicken to the pot. And as you can see, my oil is hot. Now guys, what I'm going to do is just leave this for about 5 minutes. And then I'm going to add water. So now guys, I'm just adding the water and I'm just going to leave this and then I'll get back to you. So guys, now that my curry is cooking, I'm just going to leave it there to cook for about 
15 to 17 minutes in between that 15 to 17 minutes you want to check to ensure that the water is not drying out if the water is drying out then you're going to add a little more until the curry is cooked so guys what i'm going to do now is just cut up my vegetables for my curry chicken so as you can see i'm just cutting up the carrot then i'm going to cut up the irish potatoes then i'm going to cut up the onion the scallion and the thyme So guys, after the 15 to 17 minutes, this is what my curry look like. So what I'm going to do now is just add the Irish potatoes and the carrot. I'm also going to add the thyme and the pimento seed. Now I'm just going to add the onion and the scotch bonnet pepper. And I'm just going to leave this to cook for another 15 minutes. Because you want it to simmer down and make that thick gravy. So guys, after another 15 minutes, this is what my curry look like. The, as you can see, the gravy coming along, the vegetables are cooked. My chicken is cooked because I did not use the bony part of the chicken. I, I used most of the breast part of the chicken. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. So guys, this is the final product of my curry chicken jamaican style look at that chicken guy look at look at the vegetables all cooked and ready to be served thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video